The women's final features Element and Pleiades. The opening poll coming up next. Or can University of Washington surprise everyone? UNC begins on offense with a turnover as Wierzynski's throw downfield denied by a bidding Grace Young. Young initiates, gets it to the middle of the field for Ye Sun Lee. And the swing from Icky Elmi. Too high. Nationals debut yesterday. May not have her top speed, but she's still looking pretty quick and has the great throws. Bridget Meisner to Ella Jungst, and that gets the scoring started for UNC. With an offense. A lot of weapons on this offense, but Abby Hecko is certainly the star as they try to get it to Sophia Palmer. And you see her speed on display right there, chasing that disc down. Not in the end zone yet. Connerly with a lefty backhand for the score. Gadama squeezes it downfield for Hecko. Continues it for Penny Wynn. Up the line, and that'll work. Penny Wynn to Amy Wynn. Same last name. Back in that quarterbacking position. Meisner just a couple yards away, and Ella Jungst spins her defender around. Although the burning skirts weren't too demoralized after the game. They were still proud and happy with their performance, thrilled for the opportunity to compete. How about that layup block? Grace Connerly goes horizontal. Barnett hits Connerly. Bookends for Grace Connerly. Still very early. A little push off from Yadama. And then Washington turns it over on the under intended for. Trying to get it off that sideline. High release to Sydney Raider. Squeezing it through the tight space. Connerly absorbs the contact. A sharp backhand hung on to by Colton. And what a throw! Carolina's just playing. Barnett has another goal. It's 5 1. You face the Pleiades' depth and athleticism, and they hit you in the mouth. Over to Sydney Raider. Colton to Connor Lee for the layout score. Another wow moment from Grace Connor Lee. Megan Louie couldn't hang on. UNC took half. 8-3 on Santa Barbara in the semifinal yesterday. And this first half has felt even more lopsided. Meisner. It was 2-0 UNC, excuse me, and then Washington scored to make it 2-1, and since then, five straight. The huck goes up. Hecko, stride for stride with Colton. Hecko, skies over! Colton for the score. Holy cow. Ultimate or flying disc is one of the marquee events. And there's a mistake from Carolina. This is their third opportunity to try to punch in a break. But Meisner wins the disc back for UNC. Bridget Meisner to Jungst. They play catch. Meisner now needs to get someone else involved. Swings it to the open space. And that is half. Oh, Hecko just got drilled. Absolutely demolished by Alana Holder. Yeah, that's, that's a card level foul. Not sure why it's not a yellow instead of a blue. Hecko. Shaken up on the sidelines. Washington will gain some confidence if they can punch this in, especially with Hecko on the sidelines. Win to the end zone for the leaping snag, Stephanie Phillips. 
And Jungst unable to get the score, so she'll swing it. Teresa Yu. Back to Jungst, and Ella gets the assist to Yu. Amy Wynn lets it fly. That's a gorgeous throw. Got to be impressed with the Pleiades patience. Everybody's seeing the field nicely. And it's Meisner who after throwing so many goals, she's finally in the end zone for the celebration. In the air, downfield, Gamboa with an ambitious throw. It's easily intercepted. Colton had Connerly going, but she holstered it. Stall count rising. She fires, and it's snagged by Raider. So you get the Warhawks and women's YCC, obviously Triforce. Talk about dark side seven straight semis. Triforce has also been in the last seven semifinals at YCC. Washington in the end zone. Another zone here from Washington Element. Why not? Leads to a D. Yudama being forced flick. Breaks the mark with a backhand and it's just out of the reach. Speaking of slightly errant execution. Ella on the under. Got the disc. And there's no call. Haven't been able to finish it. Had a couple early chances for breaks in the first half. And how this game might feel differently if they had converted one of them. They had a break chance on the opening point of the game, Ian. But instead, it's 12-5. Barnett in the end zone one more time. Leaving a huge imprint on this game. Carolina picks up with a chance to inch closer to their first national title. Connerly. Colton calls a foul. Yeah, that was a foul. She had that disc. Nikki Chan knocked the disc out of her hands after she had stopped rotation. Colton seems pretty certain of the situation. Going to the observer. It is a foul, and it is a score. Olivia Monroe, Alex Barnett, and Connie Kui, but they do expect to get Ann Worth back for the spring. If you're not familiar, there's almost complete agreement that she's the best player in North Carolina. So Barnett, up the line, what a throw from Meisner. Looking for Grace Young. She's got the size and she's unable to snare it. Raider playing catch in the backfield with Colton. Three person game at the front of the stack here. This is Triangle Ultimate at its finest. We have seen Triangle Ultimate at its finest all year long and here in California. North Carolina Pleiades makes history. A 15-6 win over Washington to win their first national title and complete the Carolina sweep.